What is up, Minecraft fans? Mr. Doc Professor Patrick here, and welcome to the next episode of Cubecraft Survival. So, in today's episode, I don't really know what to do. I have nothing planned because there's not really any projects going on right now. I've sort of just been training my fishing like I'm doing right now. Uh, right now, I'm a level 133 and I have 2101 XP to go. I want to get to a really high uh, fishing level because you can start fishing out like diamonds and whatnot. So uh, I'll actually catch this fish and then I'll show you. 0 to 200 wooden and stone tools, 0 to 400 leather armor. 200 plus iron tools and ender pearls. I'm really liking the ender pearls because uh, there are no endermen farms allowed on this server, so you have to um, go kill them one by one or make like a three high area and just stand under it. Um, at level 400 plus, gold tools and uh, records. 600 plus, diamond tools and gas tiers. That's really good. And then uh, 800 plus, diamonds, iron gold and lapis. So I really want to get my fishing skill pretty high. So that's what I've been doing for all this time. And if you see uh, slash MC rank, I am in 43rd place in uh, fishing for MC top. So let's see, what is the uh, Kiena with 638? Okay, so nobody's at a thousand yet. That's good. But, uh, let's just keep on fishing. I think I'll get one more level and then we'll head back to base and I'll try to think of something to do in this episode. Come on, come on. Come on, fish. Let's go, let's go. Also, um, I created a party for fishing just in case people want to do MCMMO share with me. So if you look, uh, my party level is 10. So right now I've unlocked party chat, alliances, item sharing, and XP sharing. And if I get one more level, then I can do party teleports. So as you saw right there, I named it Deadliest Catch, because that's like fishing themed. And yeah. And as you just saw there, I got a music disc, so that's pretty cool. I usually sell these because I never listen to them since I don't have a jukebox and I'm not in my base enough to use a jukebox, so it's kind of pointless for me to have them. So yeah, should be pretty close now, let me just check, I have 701, now I have 101, so one more fish will do it, and then we'll have level 134, which is pretty good. Alrighty, come on fish, fishy fishy, let's go, let's go, almost, hopefully. There we go. Are you kidding me? The one fish that I needed, I lost. Oh, there's a um, staff chat update right there on Skype. Just ignore that. <clears throat> oh, are you kidding me? I got another missed fish. It's really sad. One thing I do need to do, though, my cow farm is... There we go. My cow farm isn't really that efficient, and I even changed... Uh, I tore down the redstone one because I really didn't need it. It was unnecessary and it wasn't working fast enough. Um, so I just made a little grass area, but still that isn't really that great. So um, I'm just going to kill some pigs soon and get a lot. But what I really want is to get a fire aspect sword. This is my only god sword. It's got unbreaking 3, sharp 5, looting 3. I want to put fire aspect on it. So then I can use it for more mobs, and by the looks of things, I need to repair some things, like my fortune pick, definitely my shovel, definitely my sword, um, my, my rod, too. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to show you the new um, cow farm. It's nothing really that special, but I'll still show you it. So, yeah, here it is. Just got cows and then a chest full of wheat. So this little design here, if you didn't know, uh, instead of using a fence gate, I use a nether brick fence and since um, 
the blocks are different, like the nether fence and then the regular fence, you can fit through this hole right here, but the mobs can't. So this is a really good um, mob proof entrance. So um, I learned that a couple weeks ago in a video that I watched. So yeah. This is also the melon farm. You've already seen that probably, unless you just joined the series now. If so, welcome. I don't know why I'm... Oh, yeah, another thing. I added um, MCMMO anvils and an actual anvil, so now I don't have to keep going to slash warp... Um, what is it? Is it smelting? Yeah, slash warp smelting, and then there's anvils there. I can just go to my base, go down to the chest room, and yeah. So... That's really all I have planned in this episode. I don't really know what to show you. Because I have nothing to do. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> I can't do any raids because I don't have any bases. I can't do any um, PvP because nobody's at slash work PvP. Maybe. Yeah, no one's here. I really don't know what to do. I guess we can go sell this, um, sell this disc. But I'm starting to run out of ideas for this series, because, uh, people aren't really playing on factions as much, uh, because of GTA, so GTA series is going, uh, fabulous. I just recorded episode 2, 3, and 4 with my friend Soccer Dog. Uh, yesterday and today I recorded those, so those will be coming out. What? Oh, orange. Those will be coming out, uh, number two this Thursday, number three next Thursday, and number four next next Thursday. So, uh, you can be looking forward to those. But, um, hmm. I don't really know what to do. I am going to ask Mr. RCTZ or whatever. Is he even on? Yeah, okay. RCTZ. Hey, RC, what should I do for my episode today? I ran out of ideas. RC is also um, a YouTuber on this server. I saw one of his videos in the forums, so uh, hopefully, whoa, he'll have some ideas. So, yeah. I'm going to grab these axes, actually, because... I've been saving up on stone axes for MCMMO training whenever PvP is in a, um, what's it called? Like a, there's lots of people in PvP. So I guess I can show you what, um, stuff I have. Not stuff, but like how many axes I have. I'm keeping them, um, keeping them, um, keeping them in, uh, this chest here. So I have, uh, nine, no. Yes, 19, and I will keep that chest plate. It's pretty good. Um, hmm. I guess we can go enchant some stuff. If I, uh, let me get up to 40 levels. Just so I can, um, uh, have a nice even number to enchant with. Come on. Okay, it was like ghost mode there for a second. Couldn't hit it. Almost already. I guess we'll. Oh, I actually have an idea. Speaking of withers, withers reminding me. So, um. I'll get up to 40. And then what we are going to do is fight three withers, because I have nine wither skulls. So, yeah. Almost there to 40 levels. Let's see, what is my sword skill? Slash swords. Uh, level 154. That's pretty good. Alrighty. Uh, 38's good enough. I'll get some more when I fight the withers. Okay, now we have 10 wither skulls. Let me see if any more came out. No. Okay, let's put the coal and the bones away. We'll go to slash home nether. Pick up some soul sand. I've never actually looked at this area with this texture pack. It's pretty cool. Alright, so we'll head over here. Let's see, so three withers, four soul sandy, so we need twelve soul sand. 
<clears throat> so that'll be really easy to get. I'm looking around for gas because I want gas tears for my uh, auto brewery because I don't have any already. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Awesome. No, eleven apparently. Oh, that sneaky little twelfth one slash F home. Let's grab these wither skulls. Okay, wow, twenty-seven nether stars. That's pretty insane. <clears throat> Alrighty. Put this lever down. One, two, three, four. Put, oh, let me get out my Smite 5 sword so we can kill this wither very quickly. There we go. Let it charge up. Switch these around for the next one. Oh, my chest plate broke. Didn't even notice. I'm going to need to get some new armor soon. I think I'll upgrade to get that. Okay. Okay. I didn't talk there because that wither is very loud. I couldn't even hear myself talking. So, I should get some diamond gear soon, like diamond shovel, diamond axe, diamond armor. So yeah, wither 2 for 20 seconds. That's really annoying. I'm surprised he got me through the little thing here. Oh well, we'll have to live with it. Almost there. 10 seconds. And we've got regen and resistance, so we should be pretty... Alrighty, let's head up here so he doesn't hit us again. Finally, ugh, that was annoying. Okay, let's pop a shot into him with our bow and head in. Okay, there it is, and we might get to 40 levels with this last wither. Hopefully we will. One, two, three. There we go. Let's head back here again. Alrighty, spawned in. Jump down and look out. There we go, and we got a sword skill. We're at 155 now. Awesome. That's three more nether stars. We have 30 now. That is insane. And I also have two beacons, but I'm never going to use them because I don't have enough iron. If I ever do get enough iron, sure, I'll install it. But for now, we do not have one. Let's put that back there. And yeah, that's all I can think of now. Like, I thought I was out of ideas then, and then I thought of the wither thing, but... Now I'm like really out of ideas. I don't know what to do at all. Hmm. I guess we can take a tour around Titan's F home. I don't know if I've shown you the full thing before, but here's our quad wither grinder. You've seen this plenty of times before. Oh, just ignore that little screen flow thingy up top in the right corner. That's the, the second notification that's popped up today. So, uh, yeah, that was the uh, Wither Grinder. Over here we've got our MCMMO stuff and some chests. Over here we got some more chests and enchanting table. Over here we've got our, um, what's it called, our community chest. And we've got our Wither Killer Station. Our This used to be our notifications wall. Then we've got uh, another enchanting table. That's a level 24 because it doesn't have all the bookshelves. This used to have, like, tons of soul sand in it. Up here, as we head up... Oh, I forgot to say. Down there, those are our auto smelters. I don't think they even work. Because I tried them once and they didn't. So, as we head upstairs to the second level, uh, we've got a beacon going up. Then we've got... Uh, you can see down into the wither grinder. It's pretty cool. Bunch of redstone. What's this? Dandy's chest. Whatever. Okay, so, also we've got another view of the grinders again. It's this hole right here. Weird. Okay, and then once we head up once again, we have a pig farm right here that's really slow and doesn't really work that well. <clears throat> well, maybe it's just because I'm not in the area of it, but it's pretty slow. And as we go up, 
here's a tree farm. I don't know if this still works. I haven't been up here for a long time. So this might be broken, which is really unfortunate. So, yeah, there's the tree farm. I think this is Mumbo Jumbo's mini tree farm design. I don't know. Maybe one day I'll build it for myself. But that's pretty much it for Titan's F home. Um, yeah. If I have already given this tour, I'm sorry. But if I haven't, I hope you enjoyed it. So, uh, I have completely run out of ideas. I have nothing to talk about now. I'll have to think up something. Think up a new project for the next episode. But anyways, if you did enjoy this episode, make sure to leave a like. And if you really enjoyed, make sure to subscribe. But anyways, I've been Mr. Dr. Professor Patrick, playing some Cubecraft Survival, and I'm out. See you later.